Aldershot lineup with unchanged in the starting 11. Van Stappershoef in goal. Harfield, Monoga and Menayes in uh, the uh, centre-back positions. Glover, the left wing-back. Frost, the right wing-back. And then uh, O'Keefe and Tetek uh, remain the midfield partnership. Stokes playing behind Tolage and James Daly, who gets his second start for the shots. But the league table is crazy. We're going to keep across this game and, of course, the games involving Dorkin and Woken and, of course, Crawley as well, uh, who are away at uh, Accrington today. We are underway here at Roots Hall. We scored at both ends a couple of years ago against Aldershot. Spectacular own goal and uh, a goal as well. Here's a ball into the area. Header from Danny Waldron is uh, deft and slight and Van Stappershoef goes down and stops it and more importantly hangs on to it, Joe. Yeah, there's a first bit of quality really from uh, from Southend. Uh, lovely ball in from James Morton to the head of Danny Waldron. Just can't uh, direct it past Jordi Van Stappershoef. But uh, yeah, bright start from the hosts. Ralph, here's a ball into Cardwell on the edge of the area, holds it up and goes back to Hussin. Hussin to Crowther is well forward, drives it across... The, the shot flicked up off of Harfield and then there's a follow-up shot as well from Hussin, I think, and it's beaten away to his left by Van Stappershoef. Uh, a save you'd have expected him to make, but he did it well and has put it behind for a third corner. Is it? No, it's a throw. He's done really well to get it out for a throw. Aldershot have won it through a combination of Daly and Stokes and they've won it back now again for a second time. O'Keefe's got it, spreads it out to the right-hand side to Tolledge. Can he get it on his left foot for a shot? He can. It's on target, but it's pretty routine and pretty easy for Colin and Denk and Deet to deal with. Aldershot Town with their first effort on target in the 17th minute. O'Keefe winning it, finding Daly. Daly has got Tolledge. He could go one and one against... Kensdale, he's got a runner on the outside, that's Frost, Frost squares it, Tolad shoots, it's blocked, but it's followed up by Josh Stokes, who smashes it home from 12 yards, his first goal in a while, and shots with just their second effort on goal this afternoon have taken the lead in the 18th minute, Southend United nil, Aldershot one. Yeah, I said that Aldershot were ready to pounce on the counter if the uh, Southend gave the ball away, and they did really well there. Uh, of Tolage getting the first initial shot in. Uh, Josh Stokes there ready to tap it home with a simple finish. And, uh, yeah, it's perhaps a little bit against the run of play, but uh, that's the quality that Aldershot have, and 1-0. He's gone within three now of Lauren Tolage. His daily shutting down Kensdale. He wanted a bit more information around him. Very nearly took the ball off him. Here's Ralph exchanging passes with Kevin Miley, but he's given it away. Stokes inside to Daly. Daly slots it into Tolledge inside the area. Can he get shot away? Oh, it bounces down off the roof of the bar, and it's followed up this time by Josh Stokes, and he gets it all wrong, and it goes wide. Terrific sizzling effort from Tolledge, but he's denied by the woodwork. Joe Pope. Yeah, he should have scored, really. Josh Stokes, uh, ball came back to him, unguarded net with uh, Colin and Deng and at his front post. Couldn't get a, a shot on target, but, uh, yeah, more from Southend, overplaying it. Kevin and Miley been really good so far, but gives it away, um, gifting the away side a chance. Back into the possession of Hussein, squares it across. Dak Bridge, can he get a shot? It's blocked by O'Keefe, half cleared, though, and uh, only goes to uh, Callum Morton. South end, nice one-touch passing. Part Bridge has got it on the right side now. Can he get his cross in against uh, Glover? He pulls Glover down, but nothing's given, and the ball comes into the area, and it's a header from Waldron, saved by Van Stappershoef. Um, but it's the first bit of quality from Southend into mm. the box. Really good cross onto the header, Danny Waldron. Um, Direct his header on goal, and Jordi uh, Van Stappershoef managed to uh, collect on the line. And again, Aldershot can counter. Stokes in the play, finds Tolage, picks the ball up to the edge of his area. He's going to try a shot right footed, and it's on target, beaten away behind his goal by Ndeng and D. And Lauren Tolage showing yet again that he's not frightened to have a go with his right foot. Shot on target, uh, took it early. Yeah, that's important, get away early. Play on, Frost come away with the ball, good battle. Can he spread it out to the left side to Daly? Yes, he can. Daly's got an overlapping run from Glover. He's going to try a shot from distance, and it's parried over the bar by Ndeng and D. A sizzler from Daly, 
on target. If it had gone either side of the keeper, I think the net would have rippled, but it was straight above and Deng and D's head, his half field to take this free kick for the shots. Daly flicks it on, but um, it's picked up. Well, Aldershot have a shot, and Aldershot to... It's blocked by Kevin Miley and some strong appeals from the Shots fans away to our right. Uh, even if it did. Great work from Glover. Sends the ball forward. Oh, and Stokes is pushed down off the ball. Is the ref going to have any of it? Yes, he is. He gives the free kick, or is he given a throw? I think Stokes feels he was taken out blatantly and needs to be careful with his protests. He needs to let, let them cease now, as does O'Keefe, before the referee takes action with his card. Yeah, a bit of a coming together there between Glover and a couple of other players. Here's Menegis, he's just, just been beaten to the ball by Danny Waldron. Referee's given the free kick. Will there be further action for Menegis? I think it's worthy of a yellow card. We'll wait and see. The referee just taking his time to think. Southend might want something more. They might think he was the last man, but he was running away to the edge of the far edge of the penalty area. Both sides protest. It's definitely going to be free kick to um, South End on the edge of the area, and the referee just taking his time and uh, just waiting to see what decision is given here. We'll get a replay here to look at. It's just a cynical pullback from Menegis, and he's been shown red. The referee's taken his time and decided that Waldron would have been through on goal. Can South End get themselves level straight away with this free kick? It's almost position A for a right footer like Bridge. Steps up and it's low. Pull is spilt by Van Stappenshoef and followed up by Harry Cardwell. And South End have equalised here. It looked pretty harmless as he got through the rule but without much pace on it. But Van Stappenshoef spilt it into the path of Cardwell, who was on the spot, and struck it home. And what a turnaround here at Roots Hall. Shots down to 10 men. South end level, and we've still got 40 minutes left. We'll take it back and start again. Dimitriou sends it forward. Flick on header from Ralph. Cross in from Morton. Met at the far post. And Kensdale must score and does. Brings the ball down, four yards out, smashes it home. And Southend have come from behind to take the lead here at Roots Hall. Southend United 2, Aldershot Town 1. Yeah, um, Tommy Wigeon should be really disappointed with that. Another easy goal, a bit of a disagreement at the back there from uh, Harfield and Glover. They're having an argument out there on the pitch, uh, trying to sort out what's going on. But, uh, yeah, another easy goal given for Kensdale. You know, only a couple of yards, unmarked, no pressure, and smashed it home and uh, Southend lead 2-1. And uh, it is Kensdale who actually then chooses to field... Uh, feed the ball to Cavan and Miley. He's got the ball at his feet now. The south end have turned this round. There's a ball into the penalty. And Waldron's in again. Is he pulled back? Nothing given. If it was a foul, it was a much more subtle one than the one from Many East that uh, got him sent off. Here's the corner in from Bridge. Header down. He's brilliantly beaten away by Van Stappershoef. Down low at his post. And if Aldershot do get away with here from anything today then uh, the Dutch goalkeeper is desperately trying to get himself back in credit. Taken again, bridge, right-footed, out swinger. Header is back off the bar, half cleared, which they want ideally to take short. They do, Frost to Glover. Glover sends in the cross. Tolledge is up and heads it wide. Big opportunity there for the shots. Kensdale beaten in the air and ends up in a heap on the floor, but it was a clean jump from Tolledge. And he earned the right to get the header in, but he's put it wide when we can. Oh, they're brilliantly cut out by Glover, but he can only play it into the path of Dak as he plays it out to Wood. Wood's into the area, trying to make room for a shot, shoots and finishes. Shows great composure. And Southend put the game to bed in the second of nine added minutes. And Wood this time shows composure, takes a second, third and fourth touch inside the penalty area and then slots the ball past Jordi van Stappertjev and uh, that is game over in terms of the scoreline anyway. Southend United 3, 
Aldershot Town 1. Goal kick then to Southend United and Deng and D will take it and Southend will further improve one of the better records at home in the National League and it will be a day to forget and move on quickly from for the shots. Here's Wood playing the ball into the area, shot comes in, in off the underside of the bar, another substitute has scored, Marcus Dackers, the former Woking loanee on loan from Salford and Southend United put some gloss on the finish, 90 plus five, and the scoreline is looking rather flattered now for Southend, but fair play to Dakers, who smashes it home off the underside of the bar. Southend United four, Aldershot Town one uh, this evening, but uh, we'll get you to wrap things up and give your Aldershot Town man of the match. There is the final whistle, well done Southend, precious three points for them.